Rococo motion capture is one of the easiest ways to create free-flowing character animation like this without animating manually. In these boxes I have Rococo's full performance capture package, which includes the smart suit, gloves and face rig. Rococo is marketed as easy to use motion capture. So I'm going to open these boxes and try to set up everything as fast as possible. So I'll start unboxing. I have no experience and I'm not sure how it's going to go, but I will share the whole process with you. So I believe you will enjoy this video if you want to learn more about the Rococo suit. Maybe you're considering buying a suit or maybe you just got one. Because this video will show my unfiltered first impressions and at the same time it's going to be a step-by-step -step guide to getting started from a beginner's perspective. If I encounter any problems, I will show you how I solve them. In a disclosure, I received this suit for free from Rococo. Some of you are familiar with CG Dive and trust me to deliver an honest review. But if you need to be convinced, Rococo actually encourages honesty from their YouTube partners. But more importantly, I want you to keep coming back to CG Dive. And that only works if you trust me. So this will be a review in the usual CG Dive style. I will test things, I'll try to break them, I'll try to fix them, and I'll let you know what I find. With all of these gadgets out of the boxes, I'm feeling a little bit lost and overwhelmed, so I decided to take it one step at a time, starting with the suit setup, then gloves, and finally facial capture. By the way, Rococo is offering a special indie bundle right now. You can save 40% until the end of September 2024. In the description box, you will also find a special discount code for 5% on all Rococo products. And yes, you can apply the 5% discount on top of the indie bundle. To create mockup, we first need to install Rococo Studio. This is a hub software that allows you to configure your suit and gloves, update their software, and of course, create, edit, and export motion capture animations. Ultimately, the suit will deliver the mockup data to Rococo Studio via Wi-Fi. But for the initial setup, we need to connect the suit via USB. The suit's hub is located in a horizontal pocket at the back. Rococo provides you with this cable with an USB-C end and USB-A end, so I have to plug the USB-C end into the hub and the USB-A end goes into my computer. But that's not all. We also need to connect a power cable found in a front pocket of the suit to a power bank device. This is very important. Due to shipping regulations, this device is not included. Luckily, I happen to have one. Mine is quite bulky and heavy. It will do the trick, but a lightweight device would be ideal. With the suit connected and powered up, I got a pop-up in Studio asking me to update the firmware. So I went ahead and updated it. This is important if you want to get the most out of your suit. At the end, I was prompted to unplug the device completely and restart it. So I unplugged the USB and the power cables and then plugged them back again. And that seemed to work. The next step is to set up the Wi-Fi connection, which will send the mockup data from the suit to Rococo Studio. The button you're looking for is this one. This is Rococo's device manager, and it will show any Rococo device which is currently connected via USB or Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi setup itself is simple. Click on Wi-Fi setup, choose your Wi-Fi network, ideally a 5 GHz one, because a good Wi-Fi connection is essential for getting optimal mockup data. Then type your network password and apply settings. 
that worked for me. Under diagnostics, you may notice that some of the dots on your suit are green and others may be yellow. Green is ideal. Yellow means that there is some magnetic interference, but this may change as you move around the room. So this should be good enough and I can move on. Now the suit is connected using both USB and Wi-Fi. The USB connection has served its purpose, so I can disconnect it now. I will now put the suit on. There's nothing special, you just put it on and zip it up and that's it. It may be a little bit tight because it needs to be tight. So take your time, put it on gently and it's going to be fine. There are a bunch of straps all over the suit which I didn't pay attention to at first. We'll come back to them in a minute. Now I can create a new project in Rococo Studio and a new scene inside that project. The mock-up mannequin will look cursed at first, that's okay, it just needs to be set up. First, I need to create a new actor, which represents me. So I'll name it Todor, and I can also give it a color. But the most important part is to set your height. Incorrect height may produce suboptimal mock-up results. You can leave the additional measurements to default for the most part, but when using the gloves, you may want to set up some of the hand sizes. Now I just have to drag and drop the capture device onto my avatar. To finally fix this pose, I need to calibrate by pressing this button and then I'll stand in the so-called calibration pose, which is a bit like the attention military stance. This looks much better, but the mannequin's legs seem to be crossing each other. So I tried recalibrating a couple of times without much success. I then noticed straps on my feet, which were loose, so I tightened them. And then I realized that there are straps all over the suit actually, so I proceeded to tighten all of them. Tightening the suit is another key to increasing the fidelity of the mock-up. But making them too tight may reduce my range of motion, so I aimed for a good balance. Then I had an idea how to fix this legs crossing issue. In my previous calibrations, I stood with my feet slightly apart. But when I kept my legs and feet as closely together as possible, I finally got the results I was looking for. Here are some random movements and a quick sitting test I did. Overall, I was happy with the initial suit results and wanted to move forward with the gloves. To set up the gloves, you repeat the same process as with the suit. Connect each glove via USB, update the firmware if you have to, and connect the glove to the Wi-Fi network. When connecting the gloves, I got an error message. Serial number missing. I got in touch with customer support and they fixed it for me. It turned out to be a rare issue which you probably won't see, so I won't go into details. But if you experience any issues, just get in touch with Rococo. Their customer support is excellent. With the technical issue out of the way, the setup went as expected. I could now put the gloves on. To power them up, don't forget to plug them into the USB-C cable at the end of each sleeve. Now in studio, I can confirm that the suit and gloves are active. So I will start up my test scene, drag and drop the gloves onto my actor, calibrate, and move around. And yes, my hands are alive. And the finger movement looks awesome. I believe hand and finger capture is one of the big strengths of the Rococo system. I cannot wait to use this in practice, but I still need to take care of the face capture. So I'm just one step away from full performance capture. I assembled the head rig following the instructions in the included booklet. I struggled a bit connecting the two main parts, but eventually they clicked together. To make it comfy, I attached one of these pads on each side and it was ready to go. Now to capture your face, 
you need an iPhone with a true depth camera. I bought a used one a while ago specifically for capturing ARKit facial mocap. Rococo also uses the ARKit technology for their face capture. As I was working on this video, Rococo released a new custom face capture device. I haven't tested it, but it looks nice and lightweight and it is probably a good alternative to the iPhone solution. Next you'll need Rococo's face capture app from the Apple App Store. Start the app and as long as your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network, it will appear in studio. I'll click connect, attach the phone to the head rig, mount it onto my head and start my scene. At first the face capture didn't work, I believe my face wasn't being recognized, so I just had to move the phone a little bit and restart the app. When your face is being recognized, you will see a wireframe overlay onto your face in the iPhone app. And there we go, full performance capture. In the beginning, I set out to answer the question, is Rococo's full performance capture easy to set up? And now I can say that it is fairly easy to get going with it. The video you'll watch will be a little over 10 minutes long. In reality, the process took me several hours total as a complete beginner. I would advise you to plan at least half a workday for the initial setup. You only have to do it once, so you may as well invest the time to do it properly. After that, you can just jump into the suit anytime and do your mock-up. There is a lot more to cover about the Rococo hardware and software solutions. I already have detailed videos on retargeting using the Rococo add-on for Blender. I also have a video on Rococo's AI video to mock-up using a single camera. You'll find all of my Rococo content in the Rococo playlist, which I'll link to in the description box. I will be making more Rococo content, so if there is something you would like me to cover, share it in the comments section. For example, I could cover this alien animation. I think many people might struggle with the retargeting of the non-human legs, so it should be a good example. And you can do me a big favor by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you.